Hi, and welcome to the Surfray sponsored webinar on producing valuable SharePoint 2010 best bets. My name is Robert Pedock, and I am a co author of Pro SharePoint 2010 Search, and I'll be presenting today on how to produce best bets in SharePoint 2010. Our agenda today is to create best bets in SharePoint 2010. I'll show you exactly how to do that. Show you how to monitor the best bet successes and find good ideas on how to create new best bets by using SharePoint with web analytics. And how to track and accept best bet suggestions that SharePoint will actually make directly for you. I'll also finally show you how to track and produce visual best bets in Ontolica. This webinar is sponsored by Surfray, a leading maker of Sh SharePoint search add-ons. Also joining us today is my colleague and co-author Josh Noble, who will be manning the chat to answer any questions that anyone may have. All of the microphones are muted, so please do use our chat to ask any questions. So I'll jump right into it. Okay, so I have a simple SharePoint site here. This is the site for our book. Um, and I want to do a query for Josh. This is a common query we have, and we see this in our log files, that people are constantly looking for Josh. I can look at the page that I think is the best. In this case, it's the top page. But quite often, with search results, the best page, the best document for a search result is not only going to be lower in your search result list, it could be on the second or third page and people just don't see it. People don't paginate several pages forward to find that page. So being able to add a best bet, a section at the top of the result list that actually promotes the best document that you can imagine for that res particular result query is very powerful and will, can a has actually sh been shown to reduce uh, the number of queries that a search engine per, uh, needs in order to get good content back by thousands. So I want to make a best bet for Josh. How do I do that? First of all, I need to get the uh, page that I want to send, make in the best bet and uh, the query that I want. Then I have to go as a site collection administrator to site settings and then to the top level site settings because all search settings are done at a site collection level. You can't do them at a site level. Um, you need to be at a site collection level as a site collection administrator to make these kinds of changes. Now we'll notice here that the actual place where we put best bets is, is in a page called search keywords. This uh, search keywords functionality does a little bit more than just best bets. So it's important to understand that this is the place to get to, to add best bets. It's a bit confusing. If I want to find a best bet, where do I do that? Or where I want to add a best bet, where do I do that? It's actually in the search keywords page. So you can see I already have one here that I've created. But I'll create a new one for Josh. So um, basically, I just type in the phrase that I want to have returned for him. I can also put in any kinds of um, synonyms that I want to also trigger the best bet. So I can put those here. And then I want to click Add a Best Bet. You also notice there's a section down here where I could add keywords. And I can also have a publishing date range. So I can actually have this best bet disappear at some time or only appear during a different time span or a specific time span, which is very interesting and useful as well. Um, if I add a keyword definition and not a best bet, it's just going to show me some information about that term. So if I, I can actually define a term, if I have a like a glossary, if you will, um, so I can put something here about Josh being a nice guy, or I can add a best bet. The difference with the best bet, of course, is that it actually has a target URL that you can that you can uh, click to, <coughs> which is different than um, just having a definition there. So I can also put a description. It needs to have a title. It needs to have a URL. And I, the description is optional. The description is very much like a description would appear in a result list on a search engine. So the best bet is going to be a little more attractive than a regular search result. It's going to appear at the top of the search result. But it's not going to be drastically different than a regular search result. So I can write here, Josh is co-author of Pro. SharePoint 2010 search. And then I can hit OK. 
And now my best bet is going to be active. That's one of the nice things about the best bets is that you don't actually have to do um, any re indexing, recrawling in order to get best bets active. Uh, you can add as many best bets as you want to a specific uh, term or number of terms that are matched together. You can make different best bets as well, and you can order them. <coughs> so one appears at the top of the best bets lists and others are appear below. So we'll just go back and make sure that that worked. Click back to the site, search for Josh, and here it is. It's a nice uh, link at the top, very top of the page. There's a bit of a space between the best bets and the result page, and I can see there is the description and the URL as well. So it's great. I can only really click on the title, but um, I've got the, um, the best bet here. And like I said, you can add as many of these as you want for as many terms. Okay, so now I've created a best bet. I want to see how I should create best bets. In order to do that, I want to look at the SharePoint analytics uh, built into SharePoint 2010. SharePoint analytics uh, are under site settings, and under site actions, we can see there's a link to our site collection web analytics. Now again, the search settings and the search analytics are under the site collection. So those uh, analytics will be under the site collection web analytics reports, not the site web analytics reports. So we'll click on that and see what we have. On the left, you can see there's a, a special navigation that has different uh, pieces or pages about uh, specific search uh, analytics. We have the number of queries, top queries, failed queries, and then a few about best bets. We can actually click on the best bets usage and see which best bets we've already created um, are being used and what percentage of the time people are clicking on those best bets. You can see we've created a few here. This one has 35 queries for the term energy, but only four of those people actually thought that best bet was good and clicked it, which probably means your best bet is not that great. This is, of course, just a test server, so uh, the data here is not really live data, and we can't really extrapolate much from that. But this is a place where you can go and see whether the best bets you've made are actually being successful or not. SharePoint will itself actually make best bet suggestions under this page. I don't have any here. I don't have enough data for this um, to, to give any suggestions. But I do encourage you to go to your own site and check this best bet suggestions and see which suggestions have been made. Basically, it'll give a URL and a term and whether to approve or deny that best bet. After you've accepted some of these best bets, you can actually go and see the best bet suggestion action history here to see whether or not the best bets that, that have been suggested um, are successful or not. And these best bet suggestions actually come from the uh, analytics of which behavior, which searches in the site are successful or unsuccessful, and then uh, correlates that to some suggestions for best bets. If you don't have any suggestions like I do here, this is a really easy way to go and figure out which best bets you w want to make. And that is based on the failed queries report. Now, the failed queries reports will t really show two kinds of core metrics around search. One is whether uh, search queries were um, received n n uh, no results back or whether they return very few clicks. The ones that return very few clicks, of course, are listed with a percentage of how many were abandoned. And that means that they got results, but they did not click. The ones that returned no results uh, will be listed as returned no results. These are probably the core um, failure point in search engines is when you don't return anything. And then the secondary failure point is when you return things, but people don't find anything attractive enough in the result list to, uh, to click on. These are two really good indicators that you need a best bet for those terms.